What's going on guys, it's about and welcome back to another YouTube video. Now guys, today we've got a very old set, but a very special set, and that is this, the Snake and Mongoose set. No, the actual name of these cards are not Snake and Mongoose, these are the 72 Plymouth Cuda FC for the yellow one, which is the Snake, and for the Mongoose in red, it's the Plymouth Duster Funny card, as you guys can see there in the blurry background. Just the focus is obviously on the cards. Now, just a quick turnaround. Of the cars in this set, so obviously we've got the Ford pair, the GT race and the GT race, both 2016 models. We've got the Castrol as well as the regular EcoBoost lineup right there, and obviously we've got the McLaren pair right here as well. Now, it's this. Let me just get the lighting right a bit, but yeah. So like I say, this is a three set. Obviously there are three different sets. The McLaren was a very nicely done set, especially the Senna. I'd say I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, the Senna was well done. But today we've got this, the Kuda and the Duster Funny Car right here. And now, guys, the reason why I got this specific car is because there is a specific reason. And that is, there are opening parts to this. And the opening parts to this are bizarre. Like, honestly, that's what they've done amazingly well, the Snake and Mongo set. And it's, it's exactly why I've gotten the case. So I actually got this case from my friend Keeping Diecast, Ideal. So message shout out to him once again for hooking us up with this amazing casting. No, you're gonna have to bear with me whilst I try to open this up real quick. And there you have it guys, it is finally out. It was a little war right there. So here you have it guys, the snake and mongoose set. No, guys, for today's video, we're gonna do it a bit differently. I'm gonna try to not do what I usually do uh, so it will be rather a short video just to try different content out just to try different ways of presenting them to you now we're gonna start with Snake, Mr. Snake right here wheels, they spin amazingly obviously the drag strip car right, it's a drag car so obviously we've got big fat tires from Goodyear small tires in the front, we've got this quad exhaust on both sides of the vehicle right there this brilliant paint job, we've got Snake right here, Plymouth logo, Hot Wheels logo right there with metal, Goodyear's decal and Bell's decal right there now, in the front, we've got Snake written right here. We've got this amazing blue spin stripe right here. And on the left side, exactly the same Snake Hot Wheels logo. Plymouth logo right here. Massive rear tires. Very tiny, cute, small tires. And in the rear, obviously, we've got, I believe this is the parachute from not wrong. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. But I think this is the parachute that gets deployed, you know, in the high speeds. Obviously, we've got the thing at the bottom here that kind of stops the car from doing a wheelie. And base. Very plain, very narrow base, but that is what I want to show you guys. Cause one, two, three, check it out. So this thing actually opens up. It's supposed to open up even further. And there's actually a stand right here. There you go, boom. And it's supposed to open up like this. How amazing is that, guys? And it's, it's exactly the same. For the mongoose right here so let's just do a quick roundabout so obviously the premium mongoose right there the hot wheels logo They're exactly the same honestly the same concept of decals the quad exhaust on both sides the wheels been amazing real massive rear fat good rear good rear tires obviously the front we've got mongoose written right there we've got the amazing pinstrap in the middle right here obviously on the left side it's exactly the same hot wheels logo the wheels been amazing real the rear we've got double dual parachutes right there and then this opens up as well so this it's an amazing thing. Let me just get the stand right. So you guys can see the stand actually holds on to that little outlet there. And then that exposes you to the massive engine in the rear, in, in the inside, sorry. And obviously we've got the cock, we've got the cockpit right there, the engine bay right here. All in all, these are brilliant castings in my opinion. I think I love the fact that it opens up. I love this, I'm not gonna lie. Um let me know in the comments if you guys like these cars, if you guys think these are worth collecting in a, in a, in your, you know, worth collecting in a collection. I think they're worth, they're definitely worth the price. Although, you know, it, it has depreciated in value over the recent years, I would say. But let me know in the comments if you guys like this video. What we're going to do is I'm going to actually get the turntable out. We're going to rotate the cars for a bit just to show you guys. And we'll talk about it a little bit, but just let it. I mean, 
Honestly, in my opinion, I think these cars are brilliant. The paint job on this, just underneath, underneath the light right here, you guys can see how well the paint job is. Obviously, the whole you know opening parts thing, obviously, it's a brilliant thing that they've done with this casting. Now, I know there's also a team transport lineup for the Snake and Mongoose. I think it's just Snake and just Mongoose. But you know what? We will get that soon in the channel. But um, for now, we are going to be... We are stuck with this for the time being. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this casting. I think they're brilliant, especially this whole feature right here. And yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, if you guys would get this or not, or you know, you guys would pass up on this. Just like I guess this video is over. I hope you guys didn't miss them. I should have missed the unboxing of these cars. They're gonna do insanely well in my collection. Now, unfortunately, I do not know how to display them yet. I'm still trying to figure out maybe, maybe I'll put them in my diorama case right here. Because they don't fit into my, you know, my display shelf right there. So I'm going to find a way. Maybe I'll display them here. Or maybe, you know, I will maybe display them on my mat just like this. I will still decide. I'll let you guys know in the future. But just like guys, this video is over. I'll see you in the next one. Also, before I end, let me know if you guys like this shorter content, shorter form. If I, I'm trying to make it even shorter to, you know, attract more um, audience, etc. Or just, you know, try new things. But just like guys, let me know in the comments. This video is over. I'll see you in the next one. And I'm out. Peace. Thank you.